I always had a vision that I wanted to start my own brand. Just never really knew when or when was the right time um, until I was sitting at home in quarantine. I was like, yeah, I, got, I, I, I can do this and I'm gonna do this. So my name is Sayer Duenas. I am 25 years old. I'm from Santa Monica, California. I grew up there my entire life. Then I transferred to CSUN and it wasn't until I was transferring that I wanted to just do film. I wanted to learn how to work in a production company. I really got to experiment and see which positions I liked. I have an attachment to horror films. So that's what I wanted to do uh, before even thinking about starting my own brand. I really just wanted to direct movies and I will direct movies that will have my cloth clothing in it um, as well as furniture. I want to eventually get into making couches. I'm a big Stanley Kubrick fan and in a lot of his movies you look at the interior of a house that he shoots in and the color scheme just makes so much sense. There'll be red over here, red couch with the red frame, the picture on it, you know, just all these things that make so much sense. I want my movies to look aesthetically pleasing like that. Right now I'm having a lot of fun just working on my own brand and designing clothes. Definitely having a lot of fun with that right now. It wasn't until I hit high school, freshman year, that I started noticing people. You know, I was starting to like care about how I looked. You know, I wanted to attract girls. I wanted to, I guess, feel solidified, feel cool, feel like myself. But it wasn't until I hit college that I really started expanding my knowledge on clothes. And I started, I started learning how people go about starting their own brand and the work and the hard, the hard work that goes into just creating these pieces and putting them out there. So I bought my first sewing machine. I got myself a Singer. Uh, it was like 120 bucks. It was probably the cheapest um, model they had. And my goal was just to experiment with it, learning how to use a sewing machine and even just convincing myself like, all right, I'm doing this, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send it. I'm gonna just do this. That was probably the biggest little hurdle that I had to get over. And once I got over that, it all just started flowing. I started sewing almost every day. Um, whenever I got the chance, I wanted to practice. I wanted to mess around with it. Then I started like cutting out fabric. I started creating shapes, sewing these shapes onto different pieces of my personal clothing that I never wore. And yeah, that's, that was, I, I bought that. I said, okay, um, I'm not stopping. I kind of fell in love with the whole process of that. I always love looking at the tags just because that's like your signature. That's like what people rem remember you as and I wanted mine to be a little different, so I decided to put directed by Alatani Pearl as my tag. I guess that's one of the things that really makes my brand unique and really makes it stand out. A main concept for my brand is each piece, I see it as a movie. I see myself as a director. I have different vendors that I buy my pieces from and obviously the places where I get my stuff screen printed and or embroidered. So I see myself as this person that's just connecting all of these dots together just to create one piece to get out there to the world and to eventually make, a, make some profit um, to sustain myself, to sustain the business and keep it going. I have a lot of goals that I hope to meet and that I will meet this, this year. You can expect a lot, a lot of pieces to come also, a well-flourished website. That 100% need a, need my website to look flawless. I'm not doing it just for myself. I'm doing it because I love this, and I'm doing it because I have people in my life that I need to help and that I love. And I just want to 
make the best out of the life that I have. I'm come from a single mom who she immigrated from Mexico and she's been cleaning houses her entire life. That's where all my motivation comes from. I want to eventually just tell my mom, yo, you don't gotta work anymore. Quit your job, mom. Good, I got you. I'd see how this all turns out.